This is how the police works. Get on the ground! No, I have a shotgun. Fuck you. Usually, before I go shaking my tits for the press, I like to go see how the professionals do it. Some might say the chief of police has no business in an institution like this. But in fact, it's the quietest and safest place in town. You won't run into any reporters, nobody gets into any fights, nobody drinks too much, nobody even raises their voice. The place is owned by an elderly gentleman who knows how to keep things under control. That's why I never invite my friends here. I wanted to make an exception for my 60th birthday, but most of my colleagues are young enough to be my sons, and they'd rather just hire prostitutes. Why stare at some boobs when you can take the whole package for yourself? But there's none of that in our club. Even looking too long is considered indecent. You can get an occasional glimpse, like by accident. The rest of the time you just pretend that you're immersed in conversation, or just come by for a drink. Doesn't mean these gentlemen wouldn't want their bald heads smothered in tits. It's just that nobody says it out loud. My younger colleagues might call it hypocrisy, but I call it the good old-fashioned manners. Good manners and leave the rest unsaid. She agrees to unbutton her blouse, and we agree not to pay too much attention. The girls are on a quiet prowl, too. They're looking for a way out of their cramped rooms. Maybe make friends with some wealthy patron with a pacemaker and dentures. Everybody wants something. But we have to control ourselves, or we'll all turn into libertines and prostitutes. Hell, if there weren't any rules, I'd be belching and farting, jumping up on the table, arms held high, yelling, Shake it, baby! No idea how I got so barbaric. That's just delightful. Hi guys, I'm your Dynamite and welcome to THIS IS THE POLICE! HANDS UP! GET ON THE FUCKING GROUND, BITCH! Yeah. <laughs> so as you can probably have noticed already, this is gonna be an interesting freaking game on the channel. Anyway, yeah, sorry that for the long thingy, but you know, the thing... I, I restarted the game like three times just to get the intro. I don't know what the intro... Is, is it even possible to get the intro once again in the... Uh, later on, like, is there somewhere of the thingy? Like, you can turn the intro back? Apparently no, that's just delightful. Alright, so, let's start a new game and let's see what this game is about. Well, actually, I know what this game is about. It's about a police officer. I mean, the chief of the police thingy. What is this? Freiburg, tribute. City Hall confirms rumors of Jack Boy's resignation. Mark War to be shown in February, this, the day before the worldwide premiere by the mayor's personal request. My Ro Rogers sex maniac. Well, that's a fucking First page news? Go to work! Well, this is just delightful. <laughs> I think you have a very good car, sir. No, you're fucking not. When I was a kid, my father sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Yesterday I turned 60, but I still take his advice. Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. To get away from all the demons that haunt Freeburg, I'd need to wear a blindfold 24-7. Plus, it's a good idea to act blind when talking to reporters. At least that's what my colleagues say. They're afraid of press conferences. But for me, it's more like a confessional. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. The fact that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, this is apparently the story. From what I know, you're supposed to play as the um, police chief officer, whatever, and basically you have to like survive till you die at time. This is the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's true, I'm mad as hell. Not because I subconsciously blame everyone else, though I damn sure do blame them. And don't even ask me what my next move is. I can't imagine. But even that doesn't scare me. The worst thing is, I know I'm gonna have to do something, and I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go. 
I may have a lot of vices, but predictability isn't one of them. Okay. Hello, everybody. I am the new chief officer. You're all gonna be so fucking screwed you don't even believe. I learned a long time ago how to drive away the swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? Shoot them in the head? Shutting my eyes tight as I can. The best solution remains the same. Play blind. I just hope the reporters think I was blinded by the camera flash. That's a good old man advice. <laughs> oh. Good morning. Hello, everybody. I'm the Dynamite, and I'm about to shit on this town. Okay. Yesterday, the mayor's office officially announced the, your resignation. Did this come as a pr surprise? What? Your resignation? Okay. Uh, or did you know about it in advice? Surprise, my discussion with me. I've been expecting this bullshit from the mayor. <laughs> What's the difference? Um, I know, so we are supposed to play stupid, right? So let's play stupid. Surprise. I thought I'd be working as a policeman for another 5 to 10 years. I just want to serve the city. I'm very surprised, of course. Of course we are. Did you already know the name of your successor? No. Of course not. And I don't think the mayor's office knows, knows who it is either. So apparently this is me. After the recent corruption scandal, oh my god, your deputy Francis Kendrick said he was looking forward to resign if the mayor offered him your position. Would you would that change his mind? Perhaps. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making the right things. Sounds possible if he thinks the new office would help him serve the city a little longer. After all... Um, Kendrick was acquainted. Many still believe that the police are corrupted with the mafia. Do you have anything to say about this? Bullshit! I don't know. It helps police. <laughs> no comment. Hmm. I don't know. Bullshit. Bullshit! It's bullshit! Excuse me, but that's a pile of horse shit. The mafia and the police working together. Maybe they're in... What? Catch who's with the aliens. The mafia are a bunch of low-life criminals. How about someone asks for a real question? Do you think your personal relationship with the Meyer could be a reason behind your retirement? Definitely. Definitely not. Possibly. Definitely not. Uh, how should I know? Well, definitely not. No! <laughs> get, get, rid, get rid of the occasions. This is not possible. Meyer Rogers is a true professional and he makes his decisions carefully. There is no place in our job for hard feelings. Thank you. Go suck a dick. Now what? How's the back today, Mr. Boyd? Same as usual. How did the press conference go? You can read about it in the newspapers tomorrow. Don't let anyone in. Even Mr. Kendrick? Especially Mr. Kendrick. <laughs> let Mr. Kendrick know that he is a pile of bullshit. And if he enters my office, I'm gonna shoot him. You're like the comic kind of type intros and cinematics. Oh, pills! Yes, the rifle. Take a pill. Kill yourself. Take three pills. Why not? One for headache, one for butt hurting, the other one for your fucking nerves. Oh, yeah. And I bet he swallowed those fucking pills with a vodka. Hello. As soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. Rude, arrogant, no warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. White summer shoes, white socks, white shorts, white polo shirt, and the white smile of a hungry shark. Mayor Rogers enters every room like he owns the place. Even the floorboards under his feet sound like they're creaking an apology. He never shied away from the odd corruption scheme. It's like the devil walks behind him. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis with them instead. That's about the only difference. Jack, I was hoping to catch you after the press conference. You, uh, you ran away so quick. Yeah, kinda. You know, can't watch the fucking cameras. There's no smoking at City Hall. No reason for me to hang around. Well... This morning I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon you won't be able to smoke here either. How about you go and fuck yourself? Enough, I won't be here at all. If that's what I wanted to talk to you about. The people of this city like you, Jack. The police chief of all people. <laughs> don't, uh... 
Don't betray that, Jack. Don't get wrapped up in any schemes. Sit nice and quiet for the next 180 days, and, uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. That's the only thing that you still have left. Be the hero. Then how am I supposed to scrape together a retirement fund? You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension. One that even I would have envied, although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. Wanna think about that? Oh, come on! 180 days of quiet, Jack. That's all I need. I don't have any problems with you, and you won't have any problems with me. Well, wrong address, mate. My third name is Problem. I have a new assistant, Troy Star. If you have something to tell me, call him. But try not to bother him. He's a he's a busy man. <laughs> I'll do my best to make his life a horse shit. And quit smoking up the office. One of my friends will be using it soon. Oh, your friends, right? Mm-hmm. We'll fucking see about that. What's this? Oh, come on! Are you serious about this? Straight in the intro. I'm sorry, babe. Oh? Only the mayor has this number. Not any longer. Mr. Mayor? Yeah, is this Troy Star? Yes. Go fuck yourself, <laughs> Troy Star. <laughs> 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 well, I think you went ahead of yourself, good man. Checkpoint day two. Okay, so we have 180 days to, I don't know, fix the city? Get corrupted and get fucking rich? Sit quiet and leave the city as a fucking hero? I don't know. We probably have to decide, like, I've, what, there's like three antics in this game? Jack Bourne, the only assholes joined the mafia, okay? Next police chief, still unknown. Cleanliness of the city streets increases by 20%. Can I like re read the newspapers? Nope. Can't do that. Jam shake over here. How about I get some kind of coffee, milk, whatever. Glasses. I already fucking call them Brian. Oh, come. Can I get a better car, please? I mean, I'm using some kind of ladder or whatever. Cops don't use the police station cafeteria anymore. There's some kind of stigma against sitting shoulder to shoulder with your partners. Everybody just takes snacks from the machines or grabs a meal and hammers it down in the corner like a vulture on a corpse. The main thing? Don't look into anyone's eyes. Could be construed as an invitation to sit together. The only people eaten here are ghosts. I like you, Jackie. Oh, speaking of ghosts, hello. My deputy, Francis Kendrick. He recently became one of those ghosts. The subject of one of the most devastating corruption scandals in the history of Freeburg. No evidence to support the accusations, but everyone knows Kendrick's days are numbered. I need that file I asked for. Needs to be ready tonight. Francis didn't say anything, but I understood. Ghosts aren't supposed to talk. Besides, I got a feeling he was already finished. Finished with the report, I hope. <laughs> I need that fucking file. Oh, hello. Would you like to receive tips about how the game works? Well, that would be fucking delightful, thank you. Show me what you got. I'm a 60 years old police chief, a few months away from my retirement. I don't need advice, anyone telling me how to do my job. No, I'm gonna like actually press this thingy. Facebook PD organizes upcoming work assignments into shifts for today's and tomorrow. Every shift officer responds to crimes in progress and de uh, detectives continue their investigations. You can freely move employees between shifts, okay? All officers uh, and detectives possess several important characteristics. Okay, this man is apparently an alcoholic. Prof uh, professionalism shows the overall efficiency level of your policeman. A figure around uh, 150 is considered average. Any policeman who falls short of this mark is not entire entirely reliable. While those, uh, wait, while those whose professionalism is uh, considerably higher than an average as are a safe bet, even in a pinch. An individual level of prof professionalism may rise and fall over the course of their career. Jesus, is gonna be a lot of fucking credit in this game. Energy shows how tired your policeman. Well, you look at fucking that. The less energy your people have, the less re reliable they work, and a, and a policeman who is exhausted might fall asleep on the wheel or make a critical error on the job. <laughs> oh, that's just fucking delightful. Your employees lose one point of energy after each working day, and they store one point after each day of rest. Okay. 
Your employees don't tell you everything. Some additional characteristics are hidden from view. For instance, some cops are lazy and will come up with any reason <laughs> they can think of to take a day off. While others like to drink too much. You can only guess about those things, but you should be able to draft your own conclusion based on the behavior of your employees. So if a guy has a like, you know, sad fucking face, he's probably on fucking meth. This guy is probably on fucking meth. Okay, start the day. So what, those guys are empty the detectives? Molly. Oh my god, what the hell have happened to your face? Okay. The Brito, we're gonna call you Brito. Armstrong. And he's black. Okay, so we have Armstrong, Burrito, and Mole. All right. The what the hell you are doing? You are older than fucking Santa Claus. What the hell? Austin, As Asano, Subaki. Okay, this like sounds like a fucking anime hero. Purdy, Vancy, and Koshi. Okay, well Koshi, Hoshi. Hey. I should have probably checked something, did I? <laughs> that's just delightful. I have a fucking SWAT team. Holy fuck, that's gonna be delightful. <laughs> Get on the ground! Don't think! Don't speak! Ah! Okay. Spending to calls in the brick, uh, bread and butter of police work. You need to send your officers to the crime scene before their time expires. A mark on the map shows where the car came from. The further, uh, the further away the destination from the police station, the longer it will take your officers to travel back and forward. So the longer your people will be tired, uh, tied up and unavailable for uh, upcoming work. Oh. Okay, everyday mall, hit and run. Okay, what is this? The easiest way to determine how difficult a task uh, might be is to check how many units you are allowed to send to the call. The more units you can send, the more serious uh, the alerted threat. Partic particularly risk missions give you the option of sending SWAT. Get on the ground! But they might be accomplished by uh, this one officer. Oh, they, I need to send I need to send an officer and I need to send the SWAT team. Please, good, good news, you have been promoted. You're gonna lead the SWAT team. <laughs> <laughs> Can you like fucking imagine this? The number of slots are, um, is not only the thing to consider any available information from the location of the crime scene and the presence of weapons and so on. All of this can be tell you how serious each case should be taken. A mission might look simple at first glance until it turns into a brutal meat grinder or a serious call that can come in which turns out to be a false alarm. Delightful. Okay, close this thing. Is the time going on? No, it's not. Okay. Hit and run. Everyday mall. A married couple uh, exists, exited a convent, convenience store and saw a van in the parking lot back over a homeless man. What? He've been digging through a, a trash can. The driver jumped out to help once he saw that he, he hit and bam, uh, he got back into the van and quickly drove away. What? I don't fuck. Okay, whatever. So send the uh, send Santa Claus over here and let's send Austin to this. I don't know. Should I send like two people? Okay, whatever. Proceed. Okay, that's uh, just fucking the rifle. Why you don't, just didn't go this way? Like, okay, whatever. The last picture shown theater. The last picture so shown theater. A theater manager reports that during a showcase of Citizen Kane, a drunk man attempted to force his way into the theater carrying a snowboard <laughs> decorated with the word Rosebud. When he was then at entry, he violently attacked the cashier and uh, is currently fighting with a theater security guard. Okay, so he's drunk and he's apparently strong, so let's send this guy and we're gonna send her. Like, send, you know, send send a guy who's like actually knows what, what kind of shit he's doing and send somebody who's not experienced so he can like watch him, learn, you know, suck all the fucking knowledge. That's like the case, if that's how it's supposed to work, right? Where I can send this SWAT team? Can I send this SWAT team, please? Oh, this thing is progressing, okay. Do I, why I have cash? Isn't it, isn't it the, isn't it like the government paying for my work? <laughs> like for the, holy shit boss! Hit and road, a port. Okay, what do we have? With every, everything goes well, the police capture the criminals and nobody dies. But the truth is something, sometimes the criminals manage to escape. Just try to avoid any dead cops or civilians. Dead cops will <laughs> hurt your roster and dead citizens bother the mayor even more than the living ones. And just, just fucking the life of how about he moves the fucking town hall into a fucking graveyard store. Is that a graveyard store? Is that, a, that's not even a thing. Proceed. Thank you. Officer escaped. Officers unharmed. Offender escaped. Okay, how the, I, uh, Okay, note to self, don't send price on a jobs like that, he is too slow. And apparently Austin is also too slow. God damn it, Austin, fight. Okay. Yay, captured, officers on harm, civilians on harm, plus an experience. Okay, so this is how it works. So you want to like, I think you want to like send those guys in pairs, like no, uh, 
a guy who actually knows what he's supposed to do and a guy who... Okay, oh, this is fucking... Okay, this thing is first. Uh, Johnson, Jorgen and Kasla farm. A brother and sister clashed with each other over the... What? The secretive father's will. According to one of the lawyers, uh, we don't dare separate them and our security guard is off duty tonight. Your security guard is off duty? So send... I don't know. Austin, this is your second fucking chance. If you're gonna fail me once again, I swear to God you're going back to the fucking police academy. Just so you know. What is this? Armed robbery. Oh shit. The, uh, three teenagers armed with shotgun robbed a videotape store and made off with their whole collection of adult movies. They fucking have a fucking shotgun and they all they took was a fucking collection of adult movies. Are you bloody serious? How the fuck did they acquire a shotgun? The criminals fled in our car, but the store manager wrote down the car license plate. The owner is... Uh, what? The owner is one... John Brown, who lives in the subs. Okay. Oh, the owner of the carpet. All right. So I'm supposed to send the fucking SWAT team, maybe? Hello. I want to send the SWAT team. They have ar they are armed with a shotgun. Why I cannot send the SWAT team? Okay. This is gonna be fucking. This is somebody's gonna die today. Somebody's gonna fucking definitely die today. That's for fucking. Sh this is how the police works. Get on the ground. No, I have a shotgun. Fuck you. Now what? Oh, you have to wait. Oh, this is a lovely little dot. Can I zoom in? No, I can do a damn shit. Ghetto assault. Oh, the light for just one. Oh my fucking god! This looks like, almost like my. Doesn't look like my neighborhood. Uh, a passerby saw some teenagers attack an elderly musician. Oh, are you fucking serious? Then run away with the guitar and his money. Okay, Vinci, you are on the job. A same as Asano, and you just go and make sure everything is okay. Okay, Price? Cool. Don't die, please. When your cops aren't sure you how to proceed, they might contact you and ask for handling the situation. Try to deal with whatever comes up, but don't waste all your time on this stuff. You have plenty of other problems on your plane. <laughs> That's just fucking delightful. Will you go on the question, Parket? Time moving? No. Uh, outside of uh, Brown residence, the sounds of moaning and loud laughter can be heard through the living room window. I wonder what they are doing. Turn on the siren and loudspeakers and shot to the houses surrounded. Knock on the door, open. Open up! It's police! Okay. Sneak into the house through the window. Hmm. Cut them by surprise with, with, with their hair, hands, you know, whacking the shit off, or I don't know. Sneak through the window. <laughs> God! With their hands dirty! <laughs> this is just. What the fuck? They didn't expect anything. <laughs> Fight, report. Oh, okay, offender caught. Oh, that was the cinema, cinema thingy. Okay, yay, this is we're progressing nicely. So far, so good. Everything, oh shit, I forgot I've sent those three morons into the ghetto. Oh, shit. Don't die, please. Officer, oh, what? You've managed? You survived? Price, oh my god, you're finally getting some experience, even though that you have spent almost 50 years in the police department. You fucking worthless piece of fucking shit. So everybody is going back to home, everybody going back to base. <laughs> this is what SWAT team is like, we are fucking bored. Where the fuck is somebody that's gonna fuck happen? It's like, fuck. Okay, end of the day, and okay, they are still going back to the home, I think. So what, they're gonna probably rest? Why this went blue? Okay, end of the day, end of the day, press the button, press the button. If you think you'll need a couple of extra hands tomorrow, you can order any cop to come in and work over time. But if they're working flat out, they'll be much more exhausted. Some Somebody bound to make a mistake. So this is, no, this is the O, this is shift A. Okay. Oh my fucking god, Roy, what the fuck you're doing here? Burge Jr.? Burge... <laughs> Like father, like son. The apple doesn't fall too far away from the fucking tree, you know? This guy looks like a Samandi. Seriously? Robbins? Van Dahl? We're gonna call you Van Diesel. And Stoval. We're gonna call you just a wall, okay? You're gonna be <laughs> among the wall. You're gonna be the wall, mate. Okay, so I think you can like end the day, I hope. I don't know, maybe? Let's think. Hello. It used to be when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. Internal Affairs raided the library he inherited from his grandfather, hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed in the pages. Heard about the look on his face. 
the fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. I've known Francis for 30 years. The past 20 years, he's played loose with the law. And I know that at a certain point, every stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. Probably sounds crazy, but I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. You don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? Dirty one. Nothing too serious, just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments will vary depending on the situation and who you're dealing with. How much are you looking to earn? Half a million. <laughs> Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. How about two millions? Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Never knew you for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business, and I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Sooner or later, they'll put the finger on you. And, and one more thing, Jack. I remember what you said, but I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. 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 Who the fuck is he? Christopher G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. He's like Batman. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters. Gives to charity. Rarely attends social events. For sure he's fucking Batman. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dabbles in poetry. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Goes back as far as his great-grandfather. And Sand is strict about following the old rules. He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Meanwhile, Sand pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. People sometimes mistake his quiet approach. A couple years ago, an army Holy shit. decided to expand its business without asking permission. And his whole family paid the price. In Christmas? In four weeks, Sand killed 31 people. Old men, women, even a few teenagers. I like this guy. And Sand's people made sure every paper reported it. Okay, so the story is because it's nasty. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. I think this is gonna be like actually pretty interesting. We just have to like wait for the, how the game develops. And uh, the problem is that the first episodes, yeah, it was like a lot of talking because, you know, tutorials and stuff and stuff like that. Love the game. I have to check who's like actually voicing Jack because I think I know this voice from somewhere. I don't, I'm not just sure. Anyway, I'm gonna call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please press the like button. It helps a lot. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Okay, you can fall back now. I just wonder what's gonna happen if I'm gonna walk to the left. Probably fucking regret it because I don't have a fucking point. Hello! <laughs> so like, I'm just gonna stand over here. This is not cool with you. Oh shit. Hi. Uh oh.